The Thracians. According to Herodotus, the father of history, the most numerous people living to the west of the Black Sea in the ancient world. A civilization which lived in a vast land full of riches. A land of gifted warriors, talented craftsmen, skilled goldsmiths, and amazing builders with a masonry technique which defies time. Thrax, son of Ares, the god of war, prepares for battle as the Thracians are allies of mythical Troy. His beautiful wife, Meda, will be waiting for his return. Thrax will ride on his legendary horse, Heros, and with the brave riders of the Danubian plain. He will cross the snowy peaks of the old mountain where cold and shadows always lurk. He will reach the Valley of the Kings where wild roses blossom every morning. He will rush through the Thracian plains and their wild rivers. And he will reach the sandy shores of the Roaring Sea. Someday, the great warrior Thrax will perhaps return to embrace his beautiful mother. His feats will be remembered every time one looks up and sees the great rider. And their love will last forever, written in the stars, guided by Orion and his fairy shine over this God-blessed land. This land is sacred. It belonged to Orpheus, whose long forgotten tomb still stands alone on a mountain peak, whose magical harp still sounds around mythical hinges, and abandoned sanctuaries of gargantuan sizes, whose steps still echo through the deep dark caves on his way to the underworld and back, and where the voice of his beloved Eurydice if you carefully listen, still whispers forbidden spells of magic. This land is heroic, as it belonged to the direct descendants of Orpheus and Spartacus, of Therese and Suits, whose rebel sword of justice never bent against the Roman hordes, whose legend outlives the glory of all Thracian kings, and all their decisive victories in vicious battles as their might overshadowed their magnificent tombs, and their wealth was far more abundant than their marvelous treasures. This land knows the steps of many conquerors, from Alexander the Great to Claudius, from barbarians and crusaders to kings and sultans, but is still here, and is still called Bulgaria.